And now that the election is in the rearview mirror, state party leaders are likely looking at what worked and what needs work. I spent some time today talking with Chris England, who is chair of the Alabama Democratic Party. He tells me he's pleased with the stronger infrastructure his party has in place and also pointed to an increased donor base and volunteers, saying there's a strong team moving ahead. For Mr. England, one of the big takeaways from the November 3rd election was this. Very large turnout that we set records in terms of um, the, the number of votes that uh, Senator Doug Jones received, and over 900,000. Um, so we increased turnout um, and we have obviously expanded our base. Uh, we've broadened our message um, and we are, are, are speaking to more people. The Democrats lost the U.S. Senate seat held by Doug Jones. And Mr. England says that there is work to do for his party to be more competitive down the road, including connecting with voters on issues that are important to them. Whether they be uh, wages, uh, equal justice under the law, health care, or providing access to adequate health care, and those sorts of things. So registering new voters, but also creating a relationship with them that they know that the Democratic Party in Alabama uh, stands for their values and what's most important to them.